I would like to invite Sri Hari Kiran Bhargulani Ji. Sri Hari Kiran Ji is a venture, investor, social entrepreneur and founder of Indie Academy, a not-for-profit that seeks to build a reliance based on our civilization thought. Since 2015, IA has incubated and supported several social entrepreneurs and platforms promoting our knowledge systems and culture. Bhargulani Ji is currently raising two funds, the Indic Resonance Fund and the Indic Impact Fund. He believes Hindu soft power has a crucial role to play in meeting the global challenge of health, sustainability and peace and advocates for policy interventions that focus on cultural startups and job creation around the world. Thank you. The topic given to me was networking Hindu scholars around the globe, a case study. And um, I found that the topic was slightly limiting and I just wanted to expand it. Expect. <coughs> the fountainhead of knowledge is obviously with the academia. And then from the academia it flows into the media and the NGO. And from there into the public lectures and then into the public consciousness. The problem we are facing today is the narrative is heavily oriented towards distorting our culture, distorting our faith. And therefore, we need to look at what kind of a flow of networks that we need to create, not just a network of Hindu scholars, but a network which expands greater than that. So the topic I've expanded is, is networks of and for Hindu scholars and public intellectuals and social entrepreneurs across the globe. A case study of work in progress. Normally case studies are something has already happened, but this is work in progress. So the way we are looking at networks in Intech Academy is the academia, the universities, as well as network of acharyas, media, NGOs, the NGOs here who work not for filing public interest litigations for environment causes or other causes, but NGOs that work on preservation and protection, public intellectuals network, universities network, and finally cultural entrepreneurs. We believe that this is the network system that we need to build if we want our knowledge, which is with the Acharyas and the academia, to flow into the public consciousness. So the agenda is the background and the classification and all the networks that we are trying to build. Next slide. So this was in April 2015. Open Magazine, Ravchandran Goha published this. And you can see Romina Tapachi and you have Amitya Sen, Rata Bhan Mehta and all the Marxist, Labs Marxist academicians there. And then in the center, the question is, where are media <coughs> conservative intellectuals? This was the question he posed. So that was a moment of epiphany for me, personally, that my reality was that I know Madhubishwar ji, I know Conrad ji, I know David Fonner ji, I know Rajiv Malhotra ji, I know so many of them. And yet, this question, that where are our intellectuals, where are the Hindu intellectuals, or where are the conservative intellectuals, as it goes. Obviously, the intellectuals that we have do not have an access because there's a hegemony on the media, there's a hegemony elsewhere, that there's a pipe that restricts the outflow from our intellectuals. So that movement, something snapped, and I said, this has to be said, right? At the same time, the Prime Minister of the country comes up with various, uh, you know, short verbs. So I said, look, let me also come up with something, take a target upon myself. And I said, Mission 2020 by 2020. That was the challenge I put myself, that they should transform or provide access to thousand academics from outside and create or transform thousand public intellectuals from outside. So that was the, the 
the Genesis of setting up a media academy. And then sure enough, like Saraswati blessed me, my guru, Krishnamurti Ramaswajan comes to me and stays with me in Singapore. And then he tells me about Tenali exam and then I start with the blessings of Anchi Mat, Indic Academy was set up. Thank you Krishnamurti again for that. So the way we look at this mission is that we classify academics and classify public intellectuals. So the academics again, we talk about the traditional public intellectuals and the non-traditional public intellectuals. The traditional public intellectuals are the Acharyas, the sh who teach Shastras, like, like I was telling you, I will talk to you about the Tenali exam. And the non-traditional, again, we classify them as students, undergraduates, PhDs, and the academics. The public intellectuals, again, it's a one national Here, we talk about authors, activists, and artists. And they could be in different domains, whether it's language, history, literature, science. There are a lot of people in the middle age, 35, who are very passionate and were learning. So we classify them in that. Next slide, please. So this is a very unique model. Uh, at some point in the team, you must have a word with uh, Mr. Modi ji about this model. It's like an open university. So there is this person in Tenali who in his house, he has a goshala, he has uh, accommodation for 30 people. All the acharyas come there, all the students come there. Every day they have semester exams and then they have a Mahapariksha at the end of five years. And then Nimamsa, Vyakarna, uh, Vedanta, all these subjects are taught. And this is a Graha Gurukula system where in the Acharya's house itself these people stay, they, the students stay, and they all come here and, and take these exams. This is, through this model, we are now right now supporting 39 students. So I have a target of 1010, so we have covered 39 uh, students, so there's, there's miles to go. <laughs> As you might all have heard of uh, uh, Mukul uh, Kanetkarji of uh, Bharatiya Shikshan Mandi and the great work that he has done wherein all the Gurukuls across the country, 4000 Gurukuls he has discovered and he is preparing a catalog, IDMC is printing this catalog end of the year. He has conducted a, a program uh, in Ujjain and then he has come up with this, one of the things that he has come up with is called the Acharya Fund. He wants to raise 150 crores to support 500 Acharyas that are there all over the world. So I had a meeting with him recently and I told him about the Tenali model. He deputed somebody uh, and uh, he, we went and visited them. again and explained this open architecture, open university. So now, Indic Academy wants to duplicate the Tenali model and set up a open university kind of a structure wherein we support the Acharyas at their home all over India, they can take and we can send the monthly check to Acharya and we send the monthly check to the students and then they come to Hyderabad, they take the uh, semester exams because that's where you control the quality and then they find the exam. Hopefully, if there are 500 Acharya that uh, Mukherjee Vaughan wants to support and Bhatia uh, uh, Sikshin Mandal has identified, the target of 1,000 can come close by and we'll see how, how that happens. So this is a very, very uh, interesting model. Next slide. What began as a male group uh, with friends, uh, uh, when we started sending books every every month, about various books written by all the uh, erudite uh, scholars from our side, it just happened one day that uh, within a year of active interaction, the same day in Delhi, in Chennai, and Hyderabad, the people started meeting. And we, and when I said a network of and for scholars, this network is for scholars. So I tell all the chapter conveners that the scholars and the public intellectuals are your customers. So treat them with respect, take, the, take care of them, and provide a platform so that their knowledge is disseminated so that nobody sends a magazine like that and says that there are no intellectuals from the side. So Indica Network today has grown so rapidly in the last two years 
we have more than 25 chapters. There's too, so many, so many uh, public intellectuals, so many volunteers that are coming across and saying that look, we want to uh, host uh, talks and host uh, uh, chats. And uh, we had a talk in Wellington, we had a talk in Little Rock. So there are different places wherein volunteers are uh, offering. The inflection point came where my friend J.K. Javadi, I asked him, Sir, and again, whenever I read uh, uh, about the, the other side, I saw uh, a, a, a public intellectual lady who was speaking in George, Georgetown University in Washington. And I saw this and I said, look, why are our uh, intellectuals and why are our scholars not uh, traveling? Then I spoke to my friend uh, Dharati and said, please give me uh, a grant for, for our academics from India to travel without any fear, without any uh, headache of you know, costing and all these things. And sure enough, we started this last year, we started with uh, Makran Parantapeji. He traveled all over the US and more than 12 uh, uh, cities he gave talks. That was the sort of a heartbreaking event for uh, this kind of a uh, thing. And subsequently, uh, several public intellectuals uh, recently, so I can't uh, talk to you about it. We had a blockbuster tour all over uh, with uh, um, our friend uh, Vivek Agnihotri traveling, he's a public intellectual, then Hindu Sehbhut has traveled. Several intellectuals, Ramaj Sundati, so several academics and public intellectuals are now getting an opportunity to travel through this network that has been created. We have done in two years time, 185 events, talks, book launches, chats and workshops. And what we are trying to do is make it as a self-governing uh, network. Next time. We also look at, again based on your uh, Sadharma, based on your inclination, your proclivities, they are different people. So a lot of people who want to write uh, books. So we have uh, uh, Indic Author Network uh, that's headed by uh, Triple Call. So we give them research grants. We give them access to their store where they've taken a, a universe, uh, uh, institutional access. We give them publishing grants, travel grants, book launches, reviews. Then again, we have Indic Activist Network where we contribute and then uh, the leverage is uh, Surendranathi and Yogi, they look after it. We have a very active economist uh, group where we met once. And then now we are setting up a Indic Angel Network. Jayaji has been after me, he's been trying to create a network of all his industrious friends. And saying that look, we should run around scurrying around for money. So then we should have a formal thing. So I'm a member of Hyderabad Angel Network. So the same model I want to adopt it for Indic Angel Network, wherein all the high net worth individuals can get a monthly presentation of three kinds of ventures, not-for-profit venture, for-profit venture, or very new if it's a technology venture, as long as the leader is, has shares unique values, then uh, it's good enough, good enough to uh, fund. This is very interesting that happened, and you must know this, uh, Mr. Pankaj Jain, he came to India two months back, and uh, so he traveled in 40 days to 21 universities. And he gave his talk on dharma and ecology. And all Indic Academy did was to act as a travel agent. And the actual speaking engagement was fixed by him. Or uh, he was invited. And we just got the information saying that he was going to this university. And we made the uh, travel agent. So we facilitated this whole process. So this set me thinking as to why can't we do this? And think of 500 meetings. Why, can't, why, can't, why should any scholar have any issue? And again, I go back to my Prime Minister who's, who talks about single trip double benefit. So he never goes to one country, he always goes to three countries or four countries. So why can't a travel, why can't a scholar think that, okay, I'm going to India for, for my holidays and I want to see my mother, but if I'm going there to Bombay, let me go to Jabalpur, let me go somewhere else and give my talks. But that won't happen so easily because normally if you are a speaker, you won't call and say, please invite me. You will just declare your availability. So that is why we came up with this concept of two things. Give me a Google Calendar and tell me willingness to host, willingness to travel. Give me your two calendars you tell me. So that is why if you are a scholar, if you are a scholar, this period I am willing to host another academic. 
and this period in December I'm going to India or wherever and then I'm going to travel to other places. All Indicator is going to do is by creating this app and this Google Calendar, we are just going to be the back end, we are going to be the kayak or the, the clear trip or whatever. They will just send the information, we have standard guidelines. The engagement is between the scholars. See, scale happens only when there is less intervention. Whatever intervention, whatever, like for example, Makranji's talk for the first time we did in 12, I had to call up and there were my friends, Pramod, Rajivji, all of them, they had to call up on the network and it was a push, saying the students was coming, please organize. But the moment if there is interaction between scholars, that you are coming, willing to come and I am willing to travel, automatically, and we are just, it's a process oriented app, then we can see 500 meetings uh, happen in a year. It's, it's, it's just a no-brainer. So this is something which we have just launched. We are slowly enrolling the, the scholars. Obviously, uh, 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 obviously it will happen that we select the scholars who are uh, from our own institution. The, last, uh, the, the, the other thing is inter-university center. We have a formal MOU with three, uh, uh, three universities. Uh, Sanchi University, MIT Institute of, and uh, Chinmaya. Now the idea is to make India Academy as an inter-university center where we tie up. It's a global inter-university center. In India we have several inter-university centers. In uh, Leiden University you have an uh, inter-university center, but this should be a global inter-university center. So it's an inter you get this now. So this would also look at uh, granting PhD program. Excellent. The last thing is the network of entrepreneurs. Again, the knowledge from Foundation has to flow. Today, I am very happy to announce that we are doing a Yatra for Ramanujan. Can you beat it? Ramanujan Yatra we have just announced. Wonderful young uh, people, Vichar Matika, they are wonderful entrepreneurs. In. So we are giving a grant to them. They are taking students and traversing the entire thing of Ramanujan, all the places that he was living. This is the service, this is the cultural entrepreneur he has to offer a service to whom? To the fountain head of knowledge, to the Saras world. So therefore it's very important that we have Saras, the entrepreneurs also as a part of the value chain. And this is what we are trying to create now, a global network of Indian cultural entrepreneurs. This is what we are trying to establish. So these are all the things and I thank all my colleagues and my volunteers. It's just been an amazing journey. Thank you so much.